Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Um, so welcome to Die Hard Wednesday. Um, if you're not familiar with Die Hard Wednesday, this is a collab with myself and my crafty BFF, Markeisha, Sweet Papery Treasures. I will have a link to her YT channel below for you guys to run over and see what she's created and subscribe to her crafty YouTube channel. But we come on every other Wednesday and we share projects that we create using our metal dies. I know that there are a lot of die lovers out there. So this is the collab for you. If you would like to participate, we have a hashtag. I will leave it in the screen. Just use that hashtag in your videos so that we can find you um, on YouTube. You can also participate on Instagram. Just use the hashtag. You can post your video any day. It doesn't have to be on Wednesday. So any day that you like, just post your video um, of your project using your metal dies. I would love to see what you create as well as Markeisha. I'm sure she would love to see what you create. I also want to thank the participants thus far for Die Hard Wednesday. Uh, we have Happy Crafter, who is Lisa. Um, she participated. Thank you so much, Lisa. We have Stocked and Stuck. Um, she participated. And we also have Tanya, Memory Lane Keepsakes. She also participated. So a big, big thank you to you ladies. So let's get started. Um, what I'm going to share with you today, um, I'm going to share some cards that I created for Cards for Cubs. Cards for Cubs is a charitable organization sponsored by Barely Art. Uh, the mission is to give hope to kids in foster care and to bring awareness to the foster care system. So I was very excited um, to hear about this charitable organization and I wanted to participate this year. Um, so if you would like to participate, you have until March the 31st uh, to get your cards mailed out and to register. I will leave a link below so you can register if you like and you can get all of the information of the guidelines for your cards and where to mail them off, etc. So make sure you check below for all of that helpful information. Uh, we also have a playlist for this collab, so all of that will be below. So let's get started. I'm so excited, you guys. So for the first card, I use um, this stamp market, um, this metal edge die, and it makes a strip that is a, qu a quarter, quick strip. So I really like this. If you want, like, a, you can make a design with this if you like as well. But sometimes I just like to use this strip as an accent for my cards. So I use that. I use Dog with Long Ears um, from AliExpress. And a quick tip, you know, um, when you're using these dies with all these pieces, it's very helpful to name the die and the pieces to kind of help things go along a lot faster. Also a quick tip, uh, one thing that I do, I take a, I save the picture on AliExpress, I save it to my phone and I have an email file with nothing but AliExpress photos and I name them the same way that I name it when I store my dies so that I can refer to the photo if I need to, um, to help me put the dies together. So that's very helpful for me because I'm a visual person and it helps me to be able to see the picture um, to know, you know, where I'm going with the die. So I use that. I also use this die right here. This is by Penny Black and it's called Zigzag Stackers. So I use this die. And then I use the sweater embossing folder by Sizzix. And then for the base of my card, I use this craft card stock by Tonic Studios. This is some really good craft card stock, you guys. So if you see this, pick it up. It is super, super sturdy. So I love that. And then I pulled out some canvas paper um, because I wanted some texture uh, for my sweater background. So this is perfect, you guys. You may want to try this out on your next project to use some canvas paper uh, with that sweater and Boston folder. You'll see what I'm saying. It really makes it look like a sweater. So let me share with you guys my first card. Here's the first card. Isn't that little dog so cute? Oh my God, he's so cute. 
So um, this is the showcase for the card. Created this cute little doggy. Um, I used that craft card stock I shared with you. I inked it with vintage photo. I used some gray card stock um, from my stash. And since this card, you know, is for a child, um, it's always good to play with textures and things like that. Children love to feel. And so I put some flocking right here on the ears. I thought that would be really fun to feel that texture on the ears. Um, I added that. And then look at the sweater, you guys. You see what I'm saying about using that canvas paper? It really, really brings out that embossing folder um, to really look like a sweater. And so I just added happy birthday to you. Um, that's another thing um, for the Cards for Cubs. They are, they're requesting birthday or some type of encouragement card for the kids. For these cards, I wanted to go very simple since they're for children, but put emphasis on details. And then here's that little strip right there that I added just to give it a little bit design. I put this cute little button here at the top. And then they're asking that you keep the inside blank or you can put a short sentiment. I chose to just leave mine blank inside. And then on the back, mine is just craft. And then I just put my sticker here on the back. Um, this card measures four and a half by six and a half. So that's the size. And this is a top fold. And I created my own card base, you know, depending on the size of my embossing folder. So that's how I went with that. So this is card number one. For card number two, use this die right here. It says, um, do small things with great love. That's from Allie. I use my all-time favorite, La La Land Filigree Corner. I use this embossing folder. This is called Cross Stitch by Divinity Designs. And then I use Raggedy Ann and Andy. Now, I was inspired to pull this die out when I saw Crystal, who is I'm Busy Creating, I think it is. Yeah, I'm Busy Creating. She shared a Raggedy Ann and Andy card, and I was like, oh my God, I have that die. <laughs> so it jotted my memory um, that I had this die, and I knew it would be perfect to do for Cards for Cubs. So that's exactly what I did. So thank you, Crystal, for your inspiration on the Raggedy Ann and Andy cards. So here's the first one here. Y'all, this is so cute. Oh my God, look. It is so adorable. You can see the dies showcase and look at Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann was one of my favorites as a child. Oh my gosh. And so you can see I paper pieced her. I put little faux stitching on the shoes. I put faux stitching on her pocket of her little apron. I also added uh, one of the hearts that fell out of the die. I put it there on her pocket. Y'all, she turned out so adorable. You can see um, the sentiment there, do small things with great love. I used the La La Land filigree corners. I used Nuvo drops there in the center. Y'all, you can see that cross stitch embossing folder in the back. Oh my goodness, why haven't I been using my embossing folders more? So it really, really pulls your card together, especially if you're going with a very simple design. So if you want to keep it very simple, pull out that embossing folder. It'll help give your card that extra little something that you need. All right. So the inside, of course, I just kept it blank and I used the, um, the stacked stitches there in the inside. And it's just white on the back. And this card measures four and a quarter by six. So this is card number two. All right, for card number three, I used the Momenta um, Anchor Die right here. I used the Cartabella um, Anchors Embossing Folder. I used the Raggedy Andy Die from Allie. And then I used this Gina Marie Die right here the, with the little swirly stitches. That's Gina Marie Designs, okay? And here's the card here, you guys. Oh, I had so much fun doing these cards. Um, this is how I paper pieced them here. I used some Nouveau Drops, 
here to resemble the buttons. And then you can see my sentiment, the little anchor, and look at that embossing folder. I'm telling you guys, embossing folders are starting to be my new jam. <laughs> Boy, when you can bind it with your dies, you have a cute little something to share. This card measures about five and three eighths by six and a quarter. This is also a top folding card. I used a little zigzag here in the inside. Like I said, I just kept these cards super clean. I put some little blush on his cheeks. He is so cute. But this is how this card turned out. Here are the products that I used for card number four. I used my strawberry dye by Cottage Cuts. I used these cute stickers um, by Martha Stewart. I used strawberry shortcake dye from Allie. I use this die right here. This is by Impression Obsession, and it's called Stitch Set. So I use that. And then I use the Stitch Fruit die. And I use a stamp from this um, set right here. I use the Happy Birthday. And then I use my card base by Anna Griffin. Card measures four and a half by six and a quarter. This is card number four. I decided to do strawberry shortcake. Look at her. Oh my goodness. This is another character um, as a kid that I absolutely loved. And um, this is how I paper pieced her. And you guys, I added some twine there on her shoes to make it look like the shoestring. I inked up her shoes using vintage photo. I also added freckles. Um, in the example, it had, she had freckles, and so I just used my colored pencil and just added some freckles there on her face. You can see here the sticker that I added there of the cute little heart to her um, little jumper set. You can see the strawberries, they look scrumptious. I used glossy accent on the strawberries to, you know, again, pull in that realness um, to the strawberry. I used um, Happy Birthday there, and um, yeah, I have some strawberry paper in the bag that I got from Michaels, and this one is a side fold card, and this is how this looks. It's just plain on the back. I got to put my label on there, but this is how this card turned out. Again, super cute. I used 110-pound card stock uh, for all of my bases um, so it can have that sturdiness plus adding, you know, another layer onto it makes it very, very sturdy. So I love how this card turned out too. So that's card number four. Here are the products I use for card five. I use some stickers from my stash by uh, the Paper Studio. You can see where I'm going with this card as well. I use this Dear Lizzie embossing folder with the uh, ribbon or the bows in the back. And then I pulled out the girl with Afro Puffs. Uh, this is another AliExpress die. She was so fun to paper piece. You guys, look how sweet. <laughs> she turned out so cute. She reminds me of my little girl with the Afro Puffs. Oh my goodness. She's adorable. But anyway, you can see the sticker I put up there, birthday girl. You guys, I used glossy accents on her Afro puffs. You know it had to like pop in your face. And I love the cute little bows. I added some rhinestone in the center of the bows. I paper pieced her cute little outfit, her shoes. I added some little flower rhinestone to her shoes because she has to be jazzy. You can see the bows in the back with that green. Um, it, it was just perfect for this cute little image. And then I added the cute little balloon and I had some twine and I just took off the little twine that they had on the sticker and added my own. And I kind of just looped it in her hand like she's holding the um, balloon. This is so precious. I love this card, it's so cute. And um, the inside, you know, I just kept it plain. But you guys, what do you think? She's so cute. You can see I added her some earrings. Um, I put her some little cheeks with some chalk. So here is my first set of cards for Cards for Cubs. When I tell you I had a blast putting these cards together, I can't wait 
to start creating the next set of five cards and come back and share with all of you guys. I hope that you would decide to participate. And um, that's my share for today. Make sure you guys run over and check out Markeisha to see what she's created. I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to my YT channel. Hit the notification, like, comment, and share. Until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye.